tell us how this care model enables a deeper sense of compassion, trust, and relationship building between the patients and the nurses. And if a specific story comes to mind, we would love to hear that. Uh, so this is, we like to say that this is what we went to nursing school for. We're getting back to the basics. We're doing the human connection. Unfortunately, our healthcare system is so inundated with so many people who need us that it's absolutely impossible in order to meet those needs within those brick and mortars all the time. With the hospital at home team, we're able to invade essentially their most intimate and safest spot. Uh, we get a lot more frank conversation with these patients than I ever imagined in my entire career I would have actually have with a patient. Um, we had a gentleman who was with us uh, for an extended period of time. He had some multiple comorbidities and he had kind of, as he said, let it go um, until he became very sick, wound up in the hospital and stayed with us in hospital and home for a good, almost a week. And it was right before Christmas. He kept teasing us saying he just wanted to get discharged for Christmas. That's what we could give him, just wanted to get discharged for Christmas. When we entered this gentleman's home, um, it was very filthy, multiple pets, uh, very filthy, not like any home that we had been in until that point, as far as the level of kind of where he lived and uh, what was surrounding him in that environment. Uh, my nurse left the house that day and she called me and she was sh not shaken, but upset um, that this, you know, poor gentleman is living in these conditions. And he was just so his only his only concern was his dogs, make sure his dogs were OK. So you, you said, you know what, let's let's do something. How Christmas elf do you feel um, knowing that this is not a service that we generally provide? Um, but we just connected with this guy and knew that he just needed a little bit of help. We didn't know why yet, but we knew that he needed a little bit of help. So we gathered about eight members of our team, including um, our current health rep was actually down for a visit. She decided to join in with us. And we all threw on just, <laughs> we all just hope was great. She was such a team player about it. Um, we all threw on some, you know, yucky scrubs and uh, went into this gentleman's house and uh, we cleaned it. We now we didn't clean every single room, but we cleaned all of his main living areas, made sure that his kitchen was clean so that he had um, a, a safe place to cook his meals, to prep his meds, uh, cleaned up all of his living spaces that he invaded, you know, on numerous times throughout the day, as well as bathrooms in his bedroom, et cetera, so that he had safe walking paths and he had a clean environment that his wounds could heal in. As we were chit-chatting with him, um, started to talk more personally about, you know, we knew that he had children that lived in a, a somewhat close area, um, but, you know, it was a very large house. You know, why don't you move closer to your children? Is anything holding you back from that? Come to find out the room that we were kind of focused with what we thought was his bedroom um, was actually um, him and his wife's room. And he hadn't slept in it in seven years. We kept, you know, no, nurses are nosy. So we kept asking questions and he was more than open and willing to talk. And it, he had not cleaned that house. He had not uh, done anything with that home since she passed away seven years ago via hospice within their own home. It wasn't a room that he could go in any longer. And uh, she was a homemaker. He made the money and she was a homemaker. He just grew up in a different time. So when it came to household chores, that wasn't uh, something that he was well versed in, so to say. So for Christmas, you know, we did this and we were actually very lucky. Uh, I went out myself, discharged him Christmas Day and thanked him for letting us help him not to create shame, not to create any of those specific scenarios, but just to give him the right footing and foundation in order to move forward with that. 